Hey there, this is Keith McElwain with the Book Scan Center, the new phenomenon that can scan directly to the iPad. So all you have to do is touch the screen to begin, and you have a few different options of being able to scan directly to email, USB, Google Docs. You can also scan to any printer, color printer, fax, FTP, or any private network folders you may have. But we're gonna start with the Scan the Smartphone, and we're gonna click Next. We can scan in a number of different formats. You can scan in color, black and white, or grayscale. And in the quality options are standard, high quality, and photo quality. It goes up to 600 dpi, which gives you a real nice image. Otherwise, we can go to TIFF, JPEG, or PNG for our image formats. And we have PDF and searchable PDF that can be encrypted with a password if it's proprietary information. Otherwise, we're going directly to Microsoft Word, which is a DOCX file, which is completely editable once you download it. So we're going to start with the PDF in a standard format. We're going to click Next and it gives you the copyright clause. From there, you have a big, easy green scan button to start. And what I'm gonna show you over here on the left is really cool, it's a patented book edge design that protects the spine. Patients can come in real easy and crush the book and really break it. What we like to do is actually put it on the side just like this, and no matter where you put it on the scanner, you can close it just like this and click the scan button. It's gonna grab just this area on the scanner. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna crop and delete the area around the book, and it's gonna give you a nice image just like this. And what you could do is if you actually wanna grab just a portion of the page, you could actually crop just a certain section like that, apply the crop, retain the original document, and proceed, and now you have both images. Now nothing has been saved yet, so you can go back and you can take this other image and you can get rid of it, and once you're ready, now you can move forward and click Next to save it. What happens, it uploads it directly to our servers, and it's gonna generate a QR code. So we're gonna use our free QR code reader, and instantly, it's gonna identify it, and you have it on your iPad, and it's that easy.